the higher the risk, the higher the growth. You've probably heard this statement multiple times. However, today I'm here to remind you that you do not have to make hasty as well as unwise decisions in order to progress and move forward to the attainment or achievement of your goals. We're going to dive in and discover how this principle is critical to our journey, and that is managing your risk. If you have just joined, a warm welcome. My name is Wandile Sambane, and on today's video, we are going to explore how making informed decisions can lead to greater success and fulfillment. So perhaps here's a question for you. When was the last time you took a calculated risk? I'll share a key insight that can empower you to navigate risk with confidence. Stick through till the end because we are about to unlock a whole new level of making informed decisions. Like and subscribe to join our community dedicated to making informed decisions and let us embark on this journey of managing risk together. Now, let us first begin by understanding that risk is an inherent part of any meaningful pursuit. Now, the way that I have come to understand it is that it's not really about completely avoiding risk, but rather understanding the risk, understanding what you are getting yourself into before you even begin or take the steps. And then of course, evaluating the risk. Something like, what is the likelihood of this happening? What is the positives as well as the negatives? And then of course, from there, you can move in and make a conscious choice with a better understanding. Now, I'm not going to sit here and pretend to be a saint. I myself have made a lot of mistakes. I have taken many risks before and you probably know the outcome. Yep, I got burned from those risk taking or those risky moves. So that is why I am here today to share this with you that it is rather better to sit down and make calculated risks and not be like someone like me to wait for life to knock you down and then learn. Let us be honest. Learning is part of the process. And of course, this is something that we cannot avoid. Now, my mentor says to me, the quickest way to learn is to actually learn from somebody that has actually done something that you want to do. Now, why is that important? Simply because that person has made the mistakes before. And of course, he or she has already got the learning experiences. If you can be able to follow from that person, or it could be something as simple as following a strategy that he or she is sharing with you, or following a system that makes the learning curve for you much, much simpler. Unless, of course, if you really want to go the long way, learn by making the mistakes, which is not a bad thing, but we are after the very quickest way that we can move forward on our personal development journey. I hope, guys, that this story that I'm sharing will resonate with you and be able to assist you forward in making informed decisions. Risk should be managed or even better, eliminated completely. But this is not what they would teach you in school. This is not what the financial industry wants you to know, simply because it's not in their best interest to do so. My best definition of risk is what Warren Buffett defines as, risk is not knowing what you are doing, which guilty as charged in my case. And he goes on to say, risk is the ability to lose some or all of your capital. And like I've said, I've shared on a, pre on a previous lesson, guys, I've learned it the hard way because what I did is what the financial industry wants you to do. Come to them to borrow money. You need money to make money. You know the story. 
But guys, with the journey that I am sharing, with the journey that I'm currently on, discovering that the truth is you do not need money to make money because that is the financial risk. That is what's keeping people like me and many other people out there in their position where they are at unless something changes from within, unless you make that conscious choice, unless you decide that you're going to do things differently, things will forever stay the same. This is what I've decided for myself on this journey that we are sharing together. And I hope that today's discussion is going to spike that interest, is going to spike that inspiration to start to take your journey seriously because I really want and I really wish for you to be successful in whatever that your goals and aspirations might be. As we wrap up today's discussion, I want you to remember that managing risk is not about eliminating uncertainty, rather navigating it with wisdom and with intention. This is what this journey is all about. So I really hope that you're going to make those choices that align with your vision as well as your aspirations. If you found this video valuable, please consider subscribing to my channel for more insights on making informed decisions. And don't forget to leave your thoughts in the comments below. I would love to hear about your experiences and questions on your journey of managing risk. This is Wandele Sambani signing off. Until the next one, goodbye, my friend. Thank you.